Horrell, the fractured weaver, is here, everyone. Ready to put themselves back together one woven shadow at a time. Worrell is one of those characters that is so, so close to being something really unique that I couldn't help but give them some love here today. Even if they are a little admittedly unfinished. Which, I admit, is also going to lead to some tough love, which is something I don't typically do in these showcases. But still, there is absolutely no ill will to the team behind our new friend here, especially considering how this is their first non-cosmetic mod ever at the end of the day. That said, I still would love to offer a number of suggestions to help Worrell stay on track while making them the best they can be. Because I believe we have something here. But hey... It's your work, so if you disagree, don't mind me. As to be honest, you guys kind of already nailed most of the elements and ideas behind a playable Weaver-type mod in this first go-around, and that's for sure. Take, for example, Horrell's love for shadow and darkness. Now, there's really nothing special about their stats, as you can see, as they kind of have average hunger and below average sanity and health. But there is something at play with that mind of theirs, and it has everything to do with the lights. Horrell's sanity will drain rather quickly in the mornings, significantly slower come dusk, and then come nightfall, everything flips on its head, as the Weaver at Heart will now start to gain sanity at a very very rapid rate, as you can see. So a creature of the night, indeed. No, seriously. Horrell's base form is literally the forest form of the reanimated skeleton, everyone. Therefore, Horrell is at their best come the cover of night, just like this bigger, not-so-always-friendly counterparts. But very much like his distant cousin, Horrell also begins to leave a trail of light flowers, mysterious plants, and ferns in their way come this time, only not as frequently to help balance things out, of course. And yes, they are interactable, which means light bulbs, glow berries, and ferns galore. Now this will occur each and every night in this base form of theirs. However, it does not occur while down under, mind you. And I get it, they are still in their forest form. So the argument can be made that the trail wouldn't make sense down here. However, spoiler alert, Wardle's cave version also has absolutely nothing special to them while down here either. Yeah, I think there needs to be something here one way or another. A stat boost? Night vision, the trail but only in the cave form, I don't know, but something. To continue on this line of light, darkness, sanity, and more, however, let us talk Horrell's resistance to nightmare creatures. No, not their sanity gain. Instead, they benefit from a base 25% damage reduction whenever they are struck by a nightmare creature themselves, and that is without armor, mind you. It is a perk that makes total sense, and is quite unique in my mind, I think. However, it doesn't necessarily go as far as it should do. Maybe Horrell should just not be affected by nightmares at all, should be able to control them, should he actually deal more damage to them too? Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Because speaking of monsters, Horrell is also one in the eyes of the continent at the end of the day. And that's no surprise. So just remember to mind those porky pigs, bunnymen, and catcoons while you're out and about. But ah, yes. What does the mod page mean by Horrell being an unnatural healer in need of non-traditional healing methods? Well, it has absolutely nothing to do with their diet or the healing properties of foodies, as Horrell here can chow down on anything they wish. Something that I actually believe shouldn't be the case, and I think you'll know why in a minute here. But no, 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 no. The modders mean that once Horrell has lost maximum health, like in this example here, that booster shots will mean absolutely nothing at all. Oddly enough, Horrell cannot heal lost maximum health at this time, even though the solution is literally right in their own crafting tab. But for now, just be sure to play on Endless, or to revive off things that won't actually drop your maximum health, like life-giving amulets. But oh yeah, that bloody tab of theirs. What is it? And what is this solution to the potential healing thing, Beard? Well, it's called the Weaving Tab, and offers six unique crafts to Horrell and Horrell alone, all of which are pretty darn neat, albeit lacking some depth, I think. First up is the Shadow Morsel, which costs three Nightmare Fuel to create, as you can see, but they are essentially the Ancient Fuel Weaver's woven shadows that are now about to weave themselves into our bellies, as each heals for 12.5 hunger, 5 sanity, and 8 health. 
Not maximum health though, mind you, just normal health. And to me, this is where things get interesting. These morsels and the other meals to follow should be the things to also heal Horl's maximum health stat, and maybe, just maybe, should also be some of the only things Horl can eat in general. That, and things like nightmare fuel and stuff, if you catch my drift. But next up is the shadow meal itself, that will cost more nightmare fuel overall, as well as some bone shards, and will provide 18.8 hunger, 10 sanity, and 30 health to pop this time. It's not bad, but I would maybe start considering tweaking Horl's base stats, or even the stats of these things, if you happen to go a different route with the heals. Cause they can kinda get pretty big, especially with this last one. The Shadow Feast is going to cost even more Nightmare Fuel, and now Fossil Fragments. But whip it up, and it's going to restore 25 Hunger, 15 Sanity, and 60 Health a Munch. It's big time gains, but it also is a big time cost now and then. Well, kind of. For you see, Horl here doesn't actually have to rely on Stalagmites to give them Fossil Fragments, as they themselves can craft their own via Stone, Bone Shards, and Niter. I for one love the idea behind this refinement for Horl here, although I would consider making it a bit more expensive if I were you. Fossil fragments are also impassable walls in this game, so having easy access to mass quantities of them is a little questionable. So tweet the craft. That's all I'm saying. Ah, but here's where the fun begins. As alluded to earlier, Horl has different forms to him. And if you have ever seen the reanimated skeletons in action in this game, you kinda already know what they are. Horl begins in their forest form, but with the help of the carnivorous memory here, they can become their cave variant for a limited time. About two to two and a half minutes of limited time, mind you. Now that is not great whatsoever, especially the cost of doing some of these forms. So either adjust the length of the form, or allow for unlimited use of the memories, but actually put a timer on them, sort of like Wanda's clocks nowadays. Oh, but in this form, expect to deal 50% more damage to everything and anything, while also receiving 25% less damage from anything and everything. I still think there should be more to the cave variant while it's in the caves itself, but hey, we're on a good track here. I dig the color of the text changing between forms as well. But yes, with the forest and cave variants out of the way, only one remains. The ancient fuel weaver form. In this form, sanity plummets constantly and very quickly, and we start to deal four times the normal damage we would otherwise, which is kinda nuts, but again, the cost is very high. A Shadow Atrium for all of that damage, and a 50% damage reduction ourselves, even without armor, is pretty good and well worth it. That said, this form also lasts for not as long as it should, and trying to switch forms on the fly actually results in a complete and utter waste of some very expensive resources, as well, we can actually switch forms on the fly. I adore the ideas here, but the execution definitely needs work, and more interactions with within themselves, within these forms, is gonna be needed for them to be truly worth our time. If possible, give the memories a cooldown and not have them be a one-time use. You do that, this character changes drastically for the better. But before I go into a couple last suggestions, let's wrap up the character showcase itself with Horl's Ghost and their quotes. All of which is still a work in progress, however I do like what I see so far for sure. They embrace the darkness, they essentially call Charlie their queen, and they talk like the Weavers talk. So what more can you ask for? Well, perhaps asking for a voice that isn't just Weber's and more like the Weavers is a thing. But again, this mod is a work in progress all around. Which is why I don't want anybody to get me wrong. I'm just giving suggestions. I'm not providing a roadmap to change the character completely. It's not my character. Horl is fine, Horl has the right ideas, Horl just needs some help is all. Like why does Horl lose sanity near his literal, only slightly bigger self? Also, any extra potential interactions between Horl and his normal selves would be very intriguing. And one last thing, 
May I advise looking into how the Shadow Thurpal here could be used in Horl's hands? Maybe make it a powerful weapon in his hands and his hands alone. Allow him to control nightmare creatures with it and maybe make them followers? I don't know, that'd be interesting. Or maybe allow the reanimated skeletons just to simply be around longer with it out. I don't know, like I said, but it needs to be a piece in Horl's puzzle for sure. But folks, there you have it. Horl the Fractured Weaver. Please, please, please do not take this video the wrong way. All I am wanting is for Horl to be something that we have never seen before. And I believe Avast, Dr. Don't Hungry, Sincinate, and Akima are all right there. They're so close. The pieces and elements and ideas are on the table. They just all need some help to put them all together, if you know what I mean. They have already confirmed some future updates to Horl are coming, so we'll see where it goes. As heck, perhaps I'll see you very soon for Horl Reworked. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. You will be unweaved if you take this video wrong. And I'll see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.